In this video, we're going to replace the rear struts on a 2009 Honda Element. The first step will be to use a jack to raise the vehicle. Next, we'll use a 19mm socket to remove each of the lug nuts on the tire and to remove the tire. Since we're going to be working under the car, we're going to place it on a jack stand instead of leaving it on the jack. Next, I'm going to go inside the back of the car and use a flathead screwdriver to remove the cover and allow us to see the two 15 millimeter nuts which attach to the strut. We're going to remove both of these nuts. Now that we're done with that, we're going to take a look at the strut itself. This here is the strut and in order to remove it, the last thing we need to do is to remove the screw that screws into this round nut. This round nut is welded on to the vehicle. However, there is a decent chance that that nut may break loose when we attempt to remove the screw. If it does, your alternative option is to use an angle grinder to cut through the screw and remove it that way. I'll show you where to cut later on in the video. For now, we're just going to try to use a breaker bar and a 17 millimeter impact socket. I've chosen to use an impact because standard sockets can actually break under the pressure that's required to remove the screw. I also recommend to use some WD-40 to help loosen up this screw. With luck, using a breaker bar will allow you to start to turn this screw. If you're less lucky and the nut breaks free, you have some options you can try. One, you could attempt to weld the nut back on. And two, you can attempt to cut through the screw using an angle grinder. You're gonna want the angle grinder, hearing protection, and eye protection, as well as an appropriate disc for your angle grinder that is intended to cut through metal. Additionally, since you obviously won't be able to reuse the screw that you slice in half, you'll need to buy a new grade eight screw, half inch diameter, three inch in length, and a corresponding nut. If you've decided that cutting the screw is your best option, you're going to want to cut it here. And here's a view from the bottom. You'll be cutting it from the bottom. Once again, only try cutting this if you're unable to remove the screw in a normal fashion. As you can see, on this side, I'm actually able to spin the screw around, so that's what I'm gonna keep doing. Once the screw is no longer threaded into the nut, you're going to use a pry bar to move it as far as you can through the unthreaded portion of the strut that it runs through. As it gets closer to being completely removed, you may be able to start relying on the threads to remove it the rest of the way. Once we finally got the screw out, the strut will sort of hang loose and we can just drop it down. Next, we're gonna put the new strut in. Note that struts are different for driver and passenger side, so make sure you purchase the correct one. Once I've put the strut in place, I'm going to put the 15 millimeter nuts back on. Now the challenge is that the strut is not compressed, so the holes will not line up and you'll be unable to get the screw in. Here's what worked for us. We used a jack to compress the flat part of the spring. That way we could get the holes lined up vertically. Next, to get the holes lined up horizontally, we used a ratchet strap to pull the strut towards the outside of the vehicle. It's fair to say that this step and the step of removing the screw in the first place can be somewhat complicated if there are unforeseen challenges. But once you've got the screw back into the nut, it should be fairly straightforward to tighten it back up. Okay, so that completes the passenger side, but how about the driver's side? In order to remove the strut from the driver's side, you're going to need to move this box. In order to do that, you're going to need to remove these two 10 millimeter screws there and there. That's really the only difference. Thanks for watching. Hopefully this video has helped you understand how to replace the struts on your element. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment.